Hey guys, Keegan with Covers here. Wanted to take some time this morning and answer a question we get asked quite often, and that's the best way to calibrate your grain drill for a multi-species cover crop. So with our multi-species, our full season has 16 different varieties in it. We're gonna have different weights, seed sizes, and densities. One of the big things is it's typically not gonna show up on your, on your calibration chart inside your drill, and often even equivalent bushel weights, the settings are gonna be quite a bit different. So some tools you guys are gonna need today is a bucket with a little bit of seed, a cup to weigh, a, some baggies to catch off the seed tubes, a kitchen scale that reads in grams, a notepad and pen to record some numbers that we're gonna put into the calculator that we have on our website, and as well as a jack to jack up the, the drill. You're gonna also need a tally tape or a string, something to measure the, the circumference of your drive tire. So we'll take a few minutes and we'll calibrate this drill here and I'll show you how to do it. So one of the first measurements we're gonna need is our row spacing. So you can see from my drill, I was doing some spring maintenance. I got it ripped apart, but I can still measure it out. So I'm gonna to go to the center of my, my closing wheel to the center of the next closing wheel over. That's 15 inches. I've got a row in between in the front. So that's gonna give me a, a row spacing of 7.5 inches. So next step then would be make sure you're hooked up to your hydraulics on your tractor and lower your, uh, each, your rows so that your, CD, your meter and clutch engages. In this case, as you can see, I've got my drill kind of torn apart from, for some spring maintenance. So I've manually engaged my meter and clutch. So all I have to do now is jack up the back tire. The next thing we have to do is measure the circumference of our drive tire. So I've already got a mark here um, that we'll use to record our, our rotations afterwards. We're gonna take our tally tape, we're gonna go around the center as best we can. Come up here, take our measurements in inches that we can convert to either feet later on in the calculator or keep in inches. So I'm seeing eight feet, 10 inches. So the math works out to about 106 inches for the circumference of this tire. So we're gonna put that into the calculator on the website and that's gonna spit out how many grams that, we're, that we actually need. Now that we got our uh, row spacing as well as our drive tire circumference, we're gonna to go to our website to our calculator, which is at coversandcode.ca slash calibrate. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna pick the blend that we're gonna plant. So in this case, I'm using full season cover. We're gonna use inches. So I know I have 106 inches for my circumference and 7.5 inches for row spacing. We're gonna hit done. And that's gonna give us 86.31 grams that we wanna catch per row spacing of seed to give us our rate of 60 pounds an acre. One thing I like to do before I do any calibration is make sure that my seed tubes are nice and clear. So I take some compressed air and I go through and I, and I blow out each one. The next thing we want to do is get a little bit of seed. It doesn't take much for this process. So a small pail out of your seed bag is fine. This will give us plenty of seed to do multiple tests if we want, just to confirm. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill one or two seed cups, depending on how we wanna test. Um, in this case, I'm only gonna fill the one up. We're gonna try to fill it up as best we can so that it has a lot of seed during the test. So now that we've got our measurements plugged into the calculator, and we know what our, our, our needed grams of seed per seed row is for our calibration, we're gonna to come to our seed chart here in our drill box and just take a quick look and see where we should get started. So we know for, for, for instance, full season has a, a bushel weight of about 56 pounds. So we can start with rye here, which is 56 pounds, and it's gonna set us up at about 15 on the, on the chart, is gonna give us about 60 pounds. So we're gonna start with our settings there. We're gonna take a test and we're gonna see what happens. So we got our seed in there. We're gonna take our seed boot. Mine's disconnected already. However, you have to disconnect it from your, from your drill. Um, it's disconnected. So I'm gonna take my bag, put it over the seed boot or the seed hose. And I'm just gonna use one of my daughter's hair elastics to keep it in place. So now that we're ready to catch our seed, we're gonna simulate seeding in the field. 
In order to simulate seating, we want to turn our drive tire 25 times, which is what our calculator is set to. So once you've got it turned 25 times, stop and we'll measure our seed. So you can see our bag caught the, all, all of our seed. We're going to give our uh, seed hose a good shake, make sure nothing got held up. We're going to take it off and we're going to go put this onto our scale. Okay, so now we're set, we have our drill set at about 15 right now based on what we saw in the seed chart. So the, cal the calculator on the website is showing us that we need 86 grams. So we're going to see what we got here. So we're coming in about 40, 45 grams. So it goes to show that we're going to have to almost double our, our setting on our drill. So let's go do that and let's try it again. So it's taken us a few tries. We started off with a, a setting of about 15, which brought us about 40 grams of seed. We're looking for 86. So we're up to 31, 31 on the seeding, um, on the selector now. And we're coming in right at 86. We're right on the money. But that just goes to show how important this calibration and taking this time is. If we had just gone off the seeding chart of a similar bushel weight product, we would have ended up seeding extremely light. So one other calibration thing you should look at if you're having trouble hitting your targets is your seed notches on your cup. So on my, my 750 here, I have three different settings. Lots of, most John Deere drills will have three. Check yours to see for different seed sizes. But on mine, I find it works best just to leave it in the middle. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video on calibrating your seed drill for cover crops. Feel free to use the calculator on the website, www.coversandco.ch slash calibrate. Remember the key to a good cover crop is sunlight capture and diversity of plant species. So we really want to make sure we're hitting those seeding rates properly.